today's video, we're going to be getting into that EK X399 Republican Gamers Monoblock Threadripper Upgrade Block. That was one long sentence for one product. Yes, it failed, did not work, and I tried about everything. And we're getting into that coming up right now. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Mm. All righty, guys. As you already know, I really wanted this video out to you a lot quicker than I did. I thought it would be a quick upgrade, and I get to talk about how much cooler that this upgrade kit will end up making your Threadripper run. When I had a hugely, hugely different experience. Um, nowhere even close to running cooler. In fact, running on average 16 degrees Celsius hotter. So, I wanted to cover all my bases and I wanted to check out everything um, before I go and make any conclusions on what's going on, which I don't really know. I can tell you this, I usually have pretty bad luck, so I probably may have possibly gotten a defective one because I'd hate to think that they're all like this. So, if any of you guys out there that are watching this actually got this upgrade kit and it's working better for you, hey, let me know. I got a feeling maybe I just happened to get a bunk one. Anyways, I did reach out to tech support because I wanted to see how good the tech support is. And I'm really impressed with the tech support from EK. Now, of course, I didn't tell them I got a YouTube channel or anything. Not that <laughs> this is much of one anyways, but... Uh, I still, I didn't want any kind of special treatment from anyone, you know, I wanted to be able to see exactly what the experience is like for anyone, you know, so that way when I tell someone like, hey, I like this or not, that, you know, uh, there's, you know, personal experience behind that, and it doesn't really matter, um, I'm always going to be, even for products I like or dislike, no matter how good they try to be or not try to be, I'm always going to do my best i given it to you straight, which can be hard to do, especially when you really like a product sometimes, especially when they do really cool stuff like this. You know, I've used a lot of EK stuff over the years, and, you know, what they did for the community with doing this block at no charge is so huge that I'm really sad that it isn't working for me. All right, so that all being out there and said, I did contact tech support to see what they would have to say. And, you know, this ain't my first rodeo, so some of this stuff's pretty basic, which I'll cover here with you guys, too, so you can kind of see what I did as well. Um, they wanted to make sure that the cooling direction is not, I didn't actually accidentally reverse it or anything like that, and I didn't. Um, I went ahead and double checked anyways. But as you can see here, I take my motherboard in and out so often working on this system that I put in quick connect fittings. And they, uh, these here quick connect fittings are kind of uh, directional. You know, they're not, but they are. Um, so I actually installed these when I put these quick connects in, in the direction of the coolant. And because of that, you can't accidentally reverse it because as you can see here it faces different directions so the male ain't gonna fit into a male plug and vice versa female ain't gonna fit into a female so I got the directions just as the same as it was before <laughs> all right guys I have I've had this motherboard in and out of this computer ten times ten times I've had this block off of this off of the thread ripper and back on. I've had it apart. I've double checked the way things are put together inside. I've experimented with changing the way that things are put together inside from the way they say they're supposed to be. Um, and that's only made things worse. Um, <laughs> but you know, I've had, it, I've had it in and out 10 times, 10 times every single time. It's about 62 degrees with the old, original 
uh, block in it and I'm running most of the time about 78 degrees Celsius 16 degrees hotter with the new Threadripper upgrade kit <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a couple times it's went, I think, a little higher than that and ended up shutting me down for uh, thermal or locking up. It's like weird. Um, but then again, you know, I uh, do have it overclocked just a little bit. <laughs> so, that being said, though, um, wow. All right. So, we covered the direction of the cooling. Correct. Um, tech wanted to see. Um, how it was put together inside. So I even made this little here video clip, this little quickie that I sent to them to show them how uh, I had it uh, put together inside. And sure enough, they said that was fine. Um, they're pretty quick. I originally reached out to them on February 28th and uh, we worked several days, a couple weeks, I think even through this um, week or two, something like that. Uh, taking shots back and forth just to try things out, see what's going on. Um, so yeah, I sent them that. They had other things like, you know, maybe it was not tight enough on one side or maybe out of alignment, you know, kind of torqued a little bit, but I had it I, I I double checked that. I looked. I took it back apart, reseated it, you know. I mean, 10 times now. It came down to it as you can see here, they're just uh completely stumped, clueless. They can't believe it. Um they don't know what's causing it. And like I said, I think I got a defective one, possibly. Um, I even changed my coolant. Even went as far as changing my coolant. And got the new view coolant, too. So, I'll have to do a video on that coming up. Um, so, yeah. Even tried that. Still, no dice. As soon as I put that other block on there, this thing skyrockets on temperature. No good. Um, the last email from tech support was on the March 12th. And today is April 12th that I'm doing this recording. So it's been exactly a month and I haven't heard from him. They said he was going to check around with his colleagues, see if they've heard anything or seen anything. And I haven't heard anything back yet. I wanted to make sure to give them enough time that if they did run across something that they had time to reach out back to me um, and fill me in. But it's been a month. I haven't heard anything. So I'm assuming I'm not going to hear anything from these guys, unfortunately. So... She's boxed back up in here, unfortunately. Went back to the old one. It seems to be working all right for my overclock and stuff at the, this point in time. I would like to try out a couple better Threadripper ones just to see, you know, because right now 62 ain't bad, you know, for having my 4 1 overclock. Pretty cool. It never really reaches more than that sometimes it hits like 163 i mean hopefully not 163 but 63 or 64. so we'll have to see on that coming up uh, i want to try a couple other different thread ripper uh water cooling blocks i would like a mono block another mono block would be nice that covers everything you guys kind of seen everything that i've done i like to see if you guys see anything or have any suggestions or if you can have an idea what you think might be causing this not to work any better all right guys thanks for watching it was good to have you by today and i'll see you guys in the next video